Okay. We are live now. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, pretty much this is going to work is I'm going to go down from each healer alphabetically in the select screen and give basic tips and meta guides for each hero. And also, this is my assistant game addict. Ha. Or my guinea pig, a little bit. And, uh, your YouTube is in the description. My endorsement level has gone from four to three. Never Why? For what you in. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you're playing Reaper. <laughs> With the Vancouver skin, that's why. Okay. So now I'm going to have to ask you to shut up while I explain things. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions, then... Okay. So I'm going to start with Ana. Ana is probably by far the best healer in Overwatch. Mostly because with sufficient aim you can pump out 75 healing per second, or multiply that by 1.5 if you have her nade effect on. Her nade effect is actually probably one of the most overpowered abilities in the game, uh, despite like Mercy Res and Immortality Field, because it increases healing received by anyone affected by 50% added. So Lucio is 16 healing per second aura, uh, half of 16 is 8, so it would be 24 healing per second, which is like 60% of Zenyatta's Harmony Orb, which is 40 healing per second. But it also has the anti-effect. The effect isn't popping up. Might be because they're training bots. Pretty much it blocks all healing for the next 4 seconds. Which, if try you can land the, a huge anti, it it's... Shot. Yeah, Tracer. Yeah, it works on Tracer. So yeah, pretty much their purple health bar for 4 seconds. This can be cleansed with things like Recall, Wraith Form, Moira Fade, etc. But this is what makes Moira... not Moira... This is what makes Ana an extreme counter to Roadhog. Because if he has a teammate, just sleep his ass. He's trying to heal, anti him. Or sleep him again. And he's a pretty easy target if you want to damage him. Ana goes really well against slow-moving tanks like Arissa or Reinhardt. And even D.Va, because her hitbox is just so big. So in, in comps like Bunker Comp or Standard Rhine Zarya, Ana works really well. Um, her nano boost is actually one of the most like life-saving abilities in the game. Now especially the since uh, a lot of enemies. Yes, especially because of the healing. Any, any a uh, tip, a tip for uh, saving your teammates actually is if you see a Reinhardt and he gets bubbled and he's charging your average uh, DPS, if you nano them, charge just 300 damage when they hit the wall, and uh, nano reduces the damage taken by 50%. So if a 200 health target were to get charged into a wall while nanoed, they would only take 150 damage. And this will almost always save them, because the Zarya can bubble their Rhine so that they don't get slept out of it, but there's not that much they can do to defend, like, to kill off your DPS. So. If a DPS like your McCree or Soldier or even Reaper has their ultimate and you need it in the fight, feel free to nano them to save them from the pin. It, it keeps someone alive. And if you're running on it, you're probably not running Mercy to res that. <laughs> um, a lot of people actually don't know this about uh, Ana's ADS. But if you punch and hold left trigger or whatever your ADS button is, it will cancel the animation and go straight into the scope then. And it's not really that hard to pull off, just start holding your ADS button while Ana's punching, and then you can do easy quick scopes. Unless you're completely new to Ana, you'll know that if you're unscoped, you have a lot more free movement, and you can see, you know, your perspective a lot better. But your shots are projectile, so they have a bit of travel time before they get to your target. Which is fine, and perfect for uh, trying to deal damage or heal tanks like Hammond. Because, you know, big hitbox, you don't really focus that much. The ADSing is something you should really only do if you're trying to heal, like, a target from far away who's, like, drastically moving, like, Ethan over there. 
Um, definitely use this on your Tracers or Genjis. But you should really never ADS. It's just really bad because your hunch over it actually makes your headshot hitbox like a lot bigger. As a DPS, uh, yes, I know. your shots are hit scan, and uh, they can actually see your bullets a lot easier. For instance, you like you see, hold on, Ethan, keep firing. Ball scoped in. You can see Ethan's shots and know where he's shooting and where he is. But if you're unscoped like that, it's a lot harder for you to go unnoticed. How you should play Ana is you should definitely play. Uh, corners, because Ana doesn't have that much, like, self-heal abilities. Like, yes, you can nade yourself, but you should really never nade yourself. You should always try and play Ana with a healer that you have comms with. So, like, if I take damage from, like, a bot over there, I'm not gonna nade myself. I'm gonna ask Ethan to heal me. It's just a lot better that way. You shouldn't really try to play Ana if your healer, if your other healer isn't, uh, in the comms because they can just go off and think oh yeah she can just nade herself when your nade actually has a lot more utility if you use it on hamster uh sleep dart can cancel a lot of ultimates reinhardt if you like time it well enough uh you can cancel whole hog you can cancel um we can't cancel winston will be you can like negate it a lot you can sleep bob uh, they tried to patch it so you couldn't, but it was just too overpowered. You can sleep Bastion for three-fourths of his ultimate. Um, thanks. Uh, you can sleep Genji for the whole duration of his ultimate. So, if he's nanoed, I wouldn't risk trying to just kill him. Leave him be. He'll be completely out of both nano and blade by the time he wakes up, because they're both six-second abilities. Uh, you can sleep Hanzo out of dragons if you can get him before he shoots. Um, I don't believe you can sleep junk right out of ultimate. There might be like a we very could, short period, but no, I just wouldn't that, go for it. You can, you can. I know. I know you can. Yeah? It's okay, happened okay. to me a lot. You can sleep McCree out of ultimate. You've seen this before. You can sleep May out of ultimate, but you have to time it right. You can sleep Farav, Reaper. You can't sleep Soldier, but you can negate his ultimate a lot. You can sleep Somber out of ultimate. Because of her new, uh, yeah. like, patch, so she has a small cast time to it. There's, um, uh, the three people you mentioned, it was Sombra, Junkrat, and May. They all have to be halfway in their voice line for it to actually cancel it. Yeah. Because you have to do it before um, Junkrat actually takes control of the tire. You can, oh, it's... It's screams. Hello. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? They, they're they're cute. They're trying to run goats, and they're just joining my game while they're queuing. They'll be gone soon. Can um, they be <laughs> no, but it doesn't really matter. I'm in the hero select screen right now. You can theoretically sleep Torb out of ultimate. It doesn't technically ruin it, but it has such like when Torbjorn is ulting, he has a certain amount of time before he gets kicked out of Molten Core, so he can get less value out of it if you sleep him, because he'll either wake up with like a second left on Molten Core and just spam it so he doesn't waste anything, or you can just make it so he doesn't get like any value out of it. You can't sleep Tracer out of ultimate, but if you sleep her right next to her own Pulse Bomb, you can get her to kill herself with it. Um, can't sleep, never, never be in the line of sight of a Widow. You've seen Anas who will like try and 1v1 the Widow and they'll get three shots off and they'll get the kill. I've done it once, but that Widow was an idiot. You gotta um, be either a really bad Widow or a good Ana, or, you know, just both. get really unlucky shots. You can sleep Lucy out of ultimate and Moira out of ultimate. Other than that, that those are the only ultimates you can sleep. Uh, for against Zenyatta, try and anti the people in uh, trans because anybody anti is like completely negated by his entrance. So always try and go for that because teams will most likely like play more offensively with it. Like Ryan will let down his shield, Zarya won't bubble because they'll just be healed back, and that's just the perfect time to get the double anti off. Sorry. Uh, your projectile time for your unscoped shots and your sleep dart are almost the same projectile speed, but don't really try and like remind yourself that uh, the sleep dart is a little bit slower. It's Buttercream like said he was uh, he said he was stream sniping. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs>
Um, as for nano targets, there are some that you shouldn't and some that you should. I'm not going to make a tier list or any reasoning. I'm just going to say from personal experience who you shouldn't nano. Uh, Diva, no nano. Orisa, no nano. Ryan, yes. Hog, no. Sigma, yes. Winston, um, yes, but make sure he doesn't ult. Hammond, no. Zarya, only if she's high charge. Ash, yes. Bastion, yes. Doomfist, no, unless you're in GM. Echo depends on whether or not she's ulting. Uh, just make sure you're communicating with your Echo. Uh, Genji, you already know the answer. It's a nano blade, easy. Hanzo, no. Junkrat, yes, but you have to trust your Junkrat. For instance, like Ethan is a Junkrat main, and I know that when I nano him, he can get like a few cheeky kills because Junkrat's primary fire does 140 damage per shot. Uh, added 50% that I believe is a one shot. Hold on, Ethan switched to Junk. I actually no want to test that theory, because I believe Junkrat can one-shot if, uh, don't farm all I need this. I believe, um, Junkrat can one-shot with his primary fire, and a lot of teams don't expect that, because a lot of people actually don't play Junkrat in high elo, unless you're, like, PvPX. Um, yeah, nanoing a Junkrat is, like, super surprise. I, I never see it in games. It's just weird. I'm just going to farm really quick. Oh, hey, it's Mercy. We're trying to get Mercy S2 Diamond. We're actually getting really close. We were on the grind just Oh, I, I All right. be good. You can get at this, okay. I swear. Alright, Ethan, ready? Switch it to, like, uh, Soldier or something. Oh, I Wait, oh, yeah. Alright. Do, do, uh, Mercy. Uh, no, no, no. Right. And go. Oh. Okay. How how much health is he at? He had like five, probably. Okay. Well, it does not one shot, but it's very, very close. And when teams are really grouped up like that, it's it's very. It's rare to they're gonna be at full health. Um, I would not recommend playing Ana unless you're like in diamond tier because. Although Ana isn't the most complicated hero, she's very, very aim dependent. Even her nade, you have to have like arc knowledge on like how far you need to aim up in order to get like a hit on people. Which, but yeah, Ana is very Hanzo well used. I got all that. <laughs> yes. Ana is a sniper. Like, she, yes, she has a sniper rifle, but you definitely have to play her like a sniper. Mercy, don't, don't, don't die. Come on. Okay, fine. Bye. All right. Next is Baptiste. No Baptiste is currently in the meta as of the time of this stream. And he is actually one of the most versatile healers in the game because he's the only reliable hit scan in the support category. Because Brig is a melee hero. Uh, Lucio, projectile. Mercy shouldn't be pulling out her pistol, but she's projectile anyway. Moira is a beam, but has a close range. Zenyatta is a fast projectile. Yes, Ana has her scope in, but as I said before, you really shouldn't use uh, scope in on Ana, because it's just better for like your actions per movement, or movement per actions, APF, whatever. Um, but yeah, Baptiste is purely hit scan, and he's a good hit scan. So if you need to counter a Pharah, but you're stuck on heals and roll queue, just switch to Bap. It's easier that way. Um, like Ana, you should really play behind your team a lot more. But try and play around uh, places like here, so you can jump up, because no, a lot of characters in this game will try to kill you, uh, won't expect you to just jump up. Um, if you're ever in 1v1, try and charge your uh, passive, like halfway, so that it makes your movement a lot less predictable. Uh, always work on recoil control with Baptiste. Uh, because there's not that many heroes in this game with recoil control, they have spread a lot, but this one, lots of recoil control. It was recently nerfed, so it's a lot better now, but definitely work on that when you're playing Baptiste. Yes. Baptiste is extremely famous in bunker comps, because when playing against uh, Bastion, because of his passive that reduces uh, damage taken when you're in sentry configuration, and his armor from overall health, it's very easy to just outheal a lot of damage from Bastion, and if he's like around this corner here, you can just immortality this wall, and then they don't have line of sight to get rid of the immortality, but the Bastion is still getting 
the immortality. So yeah, you want to practice that, playing your corners with the mortality field, because you'll get the most amount of use out of it, uh, without letting it get destroyed. Use your fart cloud. I'm just gonna call it the fart cloud, because I'm not calling a regen burst, because it's like an unimportant not ability. It. Well, it's not unimportant, but it's extremely basic. So yeah, use fart cloud kind of whenever there's like, even in poke phase, because it works like uh, Briggs Inspire in a way, except you don't have to deal damage. Um, you just get free ult charge from it. And Bat charges ult way faster than you think because he does a lot of group And speaking oh. of uh, Ant Matrix, you see a lot of like pro plays on YouTube or Twitch where Baptiste will get like a 4 or a 5k with this ult. Don't try that. I've tried it. It doesn't work. It's really, really bad. Um, you mainly just want to pair this with Grav or Shatter. Like, just anything. Uh, definitely or combo with your tank line, choke. because Sigma does 120 damage per ball if you can hit it through the Ant Matrix. Um, you do not want to play BAP if you have two or more heroes on your team that cannot benefit from it. And heroes that cannot benefit from uh, Baptiste's ult very well is Hammond, Winston, Zarya, Doomfist, uh, May, Hera, Symmetra, Torbjorn is a really good pair with uh, Baptiste, uh, Brig, and... Uh, by the way, if some of you don't know, how Moira's orbs work through Immortality is it doesn't give them more damage, it just makes the rate at which they damage or heal faster. So they still have their capacity of 200 and 300, they just go at twice the rate. So it's kind of worth it if your team needs healing now, but I've only used it like three times in game. Um, that's mostly the tips for that piece. Just play smart, work on your aim for hit scan. Oh yeah, if you do not know, if you are trying to like trying to find your yeet for your mortality, then you end up eating it off the edge and losing it. A good pro tip is it has the same exact arc as your healing. So if I'm like throwing my heals here, I'll know that if I throw a mortality, it will land against that exact same spot in the wall. So if you don't know where your mortality is going to land, you can quickly like aim it and know that it's right there. Land right there. Exact same arc. Definitely use it in game a lot, especially since I'm not the best with Baptiste. Place the, yeah, uh, that's bad. the the matrix. I don't have it. It's 35. Ah. Oh, All right, Brig. Okay, I'm not gonna try and make that many Brig jokes, but I'm actually going to say this: Brig takes more skill than Moira. Ouch. But I can admit skin. that I am a Moira man. I can admit that Brig takes more skill than uh, Moira. Your top priority with Brig is always make sure you're inspired. Like, if you look on my stats here, you'll see, like, assists, damage blocked, armor provided, inspire up time percentage. You, like uh, Zarya with her average charge, you always want to have this up. So like, if you see Overwatch players, like, throwing their whip directly into the team, they're just kind of hoping for damage because the enemy team will either push knowing that you have inspire up and it's free healing for everyone, or they have to wait and lose time for the inspire to go out. So, even though you're giving the enemy healers more ult charge for healing the damage you're doing, you always want to have uh, Inspire up. That, that's just how you play Brig. Uh, prioritize your DPS before your tanks and your supports before your DPS, because Brig is not the best healer. She is in terms of support. One of her primary goals uh, in development was that she was meant to counter uh, DPS like Tracer and Genji because they can just stun them, deal some quick damage, and have that be that. Uh, definitely use your shield to block ults like Diva Bomb, Pulse Bomb, uh, things like that. But never, and I see this all the time, never let your shield get destroyed. Let it down at like 17, because the last thing you want is to like have your shield break, and then a Diva Bombs, and even if you had just one health on the shield, you would have been able to survive it. So never let it break, because if it breaks, you have a cooldown, and that cooldown was recently increased to 5 or 6 seconds. I don't remember. I'm not letting those training bosses ruin my shield to find out. But yeah, just never let it break. And that goes with Sigma and Reinhardt. 
Don't never let the cooldown go. Just let it go at like 50. Orisa though, it's fine because it's on the cooldown. No matter what. Um, um can I say something about Baptiste real quick? Yeah. Uh, a good combo with Baptiste is Junkrat or Reaper because if you place that, uh, the cooldown's five seconds. If you place the, what's it called, the defense, the defense matrix, if you place that, it's gonna force either the team to back up and get hit by the damage, or it's gonna force them to rush in and get destroyed by the two DPS. So yes. they're either gonna push Post past the matrix really or well. away from the matrix. Roadhog is also a good use, mainly because oh, yeah. it's alternate fire. People do not expect it. <laughs> it's so powerful. Yeah, Brig, pretty much, don't be DPS, but always make sure that you're dealing at least some damage to uh, keep your uptime. And also, um, it doesn't matter how much damage you're doing, it doesn't affect it at all. Even if you land a Shield Bash, Shield Bash does 5 damage. That will activate your Inspire just by itself. So if you Shield Bash a Tracer and you Force Recall out of her, that, that, that's it. You, you have your Inspire for like the next five seconds. So just keep Inspire up, make sure you're dealing damage, keep your supports alive. People use Brig a lot as a frontline character, but you really just want to play right next to your shield tanks, with your Zarya and everything. Uh, get your Rally, and it is fine, completely fine, to use your Rally before a fight, because the armor isn't temporary. The armor stays until it's destroyed. So if you win a fight and inspire with your team on the point, you, you keep the armor. And then, like, I, I'm a Brig and I have 350 health. I, it's gonna be hard to kill me. They've recently removed also, the armor from the uh, armor packs to the... Yes, packs. So, so, don't, so, so don't do that thing where you just, like, give your Genji an armor pack and then he dives in and gets 4k. That sort of thing. And also, like Tracer Blinks and Junkrat Mines, always make sure you're charging them. So if you look at the bottom right, I'm charging a repair pack. It's about to come off. I'm going to use another one because I always want to be on cooldown because it'll just make my healing output better. Because even if a teammate needs like 20 healing, I can just heal them. It's not really affecting me at all. I never let it go to zero because like your uh, cooldown for Shield Bash, not Shield Bash, for your shield in general, you always want to make sure you have it available in case the enemy starts ulting. If you can control whether or not your abilities are like completely offline, you want to make sure that they always can be, in emergency situations, the best. Lucio. I used to main Lucio. He's actually going to be my next golden gun when I get it. Um, Lucio has a lot of settings in the options menu that you can change specifically for yourself so if i go into my options and go directly to lucio shut up ethan you'll see in the hero section this is where all hero specific settings are other than the allied health bars um, are the there are two there are two in specific allow backwards wall ride and hold the crossfade Th these are my settings personally. Wait, I have allow backwards wall right on. Max, can you make that? this. I you make this uh, if I don't. Yeah, hold on. Okay. So I recommend backwards wall ride because it will make it so you don't have to look at the wall or like pay much attention to the wall while you're on it. You always want to be wall riding. It's just free mobility. Uh, your hitbox is so They've hard, made especially it so if you're like faster. LED motherfucker. Your LED motherfucker hitbox, like, damn. Um, just always have it up. Using amp, you always call out your amp. If I, if you are in my game and you do not call out your amp, I will report you. That that's a joke. That I I'll be mad at you though. Like, like no joke. Always call it out, whether you're speeding or healing. Whenever, whatever you call out, say, I'm amping speed or amping heal, it's okay to, like, switch for a split second if you need, like, oh, that's so much quick better. momentum or quick healing. J just make sure you're on the majority of one part of your crossfade uh, with your amp. And also, what I recommend is if you're on healing, switch to speed for a second while, when you're about to go on a wall, because it will just increase uh, how far you go. And also, uh, I recommend going on speed while you're reloading, because... It, it just gives you repositioning time while you're reloading. Um, work, um, always work on your aim. That's just Overwatch in a nutshell. 
but for Lucio, you want to work on your aim while you are, like, doing this shit, while you're being red at Lucio. Uh, the best way to do this is to play Ground Fera, um, just a little bit. Yeah, playing Ground Fera is a lot, it's really helpful. Yeah, just make sure you get to land those headshots, land those body shots, deal a lot of free damage that people don't expect from Lucio. Um, stay with your team though, don't be Reddit. You should have gold healing with Lucio if you do good. Uh, one time in a comp game I got like 23,000 something healing with Lucio. Um, let's see. Uh, wait, oh yeah, they changed this, I forgot about that. Yeah, like, you can easily pop, like, 20k healing with Lucio. You just gotta only speed when it's necessary. Playing Lucio with, uh, slow comps, like you're running Torb, Sim, or Ryan Zarya, amping speed is the last thing people expect. Like, you go so fast. Like, a Reinhardt with speed boost while he's holding a shield up is, like, the scariest oh. thing I've ever seen. Like, I've seen I nano Reinhardts, and I'm more scared of a speeding run. I just found the best setting I think I've ever seen. I'm so glad cool. you mentioned, mentioned the, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, speed boost. I wouldn't use it all the time whenever I'm amping. It's better with heals because I believe it's 60 healing per second when he's amping, which is That's better a than lot. Mercy. That's a yes, lot. it's actually better than Mercy's. Um, not that that's bad or anything. It's 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 just really good, and people really don't expect it because Lucio, unlike a lot of uh, healers, you can't really see when people are being affected by Lucio's uh, aura. It's a really small uh, like effect. Like people really can't tell a lot of the time. Uh, you can when you're amped, but not when you're not, and you're spending most of the game not amped or anything. Um, there are codes where you can practice rollouts, although you should definitely use rollouts when you're trying to contest. Always stay with your team when going out of spawn. Like, I see this all the time. Lucio's either use wall run to get to the point fast as possible, but you're leaving your team behind because you're going faster than your team can, even with the speed boost. Always stay with your team on the ground. It's just better. It hurts your soul a little bit, but it's just better. Like, uh, And amp too. Only amp when it's not 2 CP. Uh, I mean, not not to speak, King of the Hill. You don't want to amp in King of the Hill because it'll still be on cooldown when you get to the point. And team fights occur so often on King of the Hill because it's King of the Hill, obviously. Any other mode, though, it's fine to amp because it usually comes back online when you're there. But yeah, just keep in mind, your team is more useful with Lucio than you are as Lucio, if that makes any sense. Because you are only benefiting from your crossfade. If you are with your team, that is pretty much five people being affected the same as you. So your team, more important than you, but stay alive though. And also, <laughs> Lucio's uh, beat drop is technically a double jump. So if you need to clear a little more distance, you know, go past this corner to make sure those guys get their fucking sound barrier. Do that. Just make sure you don't accidentally like beat right here and like deny this poor friendly roadhog. That's definitely a friendly roadhog. Yeah, off the map with you. Uh, the last thing you want to do is during a nano blade miss like two people and they die because that's just kind of a waste of your ultimate. You're trying to keep people alive. Um, if you are, if an ult is going on like Farah, McCree, or Soldier, unless you are completely safe and you know that you cannot die, do not beat because your ult will be cancelled really fast. I've had it happen to me, a lot. So just play really smart with Lucio. He's actually more frontline than Brig, because he's much faster, he can heal himself whenever the fuck he wants. Play Lucio with the team. Your comms are extremely important. You're like the team leader every time. Max. Whenever you're Lucio. Okay. That is mostly Lucio. Mercy. Mercy, like Brig, Mm. Highly skilled. Mercy is one of the like most high. Not, not, I'm not gonna say most high skilled, but definitely the most versatile skilled heroes in the game because she has a very low skill floor but a really high skill ceiling. Meaning, like if you're bad at her, you can still be decent at her. But if you're really good at her, then um, you're you're making the most out of it. Mercy here, better Mercy than me. I'm just gonna point that out. I've played a lot of Mercy before, and I used to main Mercy. 
But yeah, th this one, this one's a lot better. She knows how to super jump. Res. As you can tell from the um, name. If you would like to, if you would like to demonstrate mercy, if you super jumps with like this guy over here, pretty much how it works is you crouch right before your guardian angel, and right as it ends, you jump. Depending on how you do it, you can get multiple effects. But this is like the best one. If you're trying, you can also do this while you're rezzing. So like, hold on, I'm gonna let one of these guys die. Mercy does this a lot in my game. Sometimes they fuck it up, but it's fine. It's like a 90% success rate. If the enemy are running not double hitscan, I failed. Okay, so the reason why I failed that, I got into one of the worst habits on Mercy. How her levitate works is it activates whenever you're holding your res button or your jump button. But I got into the habit to where I levitate using left trigger so whenever a res opportunity comes up, my mercy will automatically just res. It gets me killed a lot, it gets a lot of failed reses, that's why I stopped playing mercy. So learn, so whenever you're learning mercy, just make sure that you're learning how to levitate with A and not left trigger, like I did. Uh, yeah, I failed. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm a really bad mercy. Th this one's a lot better. Um, I wouldn't focus on tech boosting that much. Obviously, do yeah, like that. Okay, you can stop flexing. Come on. Um, uh, obviously, it's good to pair um uh, attack boost with things like Death Blossom, Soldier Ult, Genji, all that sort of things. But you never just want to be attack boosting regularly, even if you're pocketing. Um, whenever you're pocketing a target, uh, like let let hold on, I, 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 I come don't. Come don't want to be attack boosted. No, <laughs> mercy stop. Mercy yeah, he, stop. Game, game, game addict like hates my, when I pocket him. He well, no, because I was, like, I was, I was, I was doing damage testing. Oh, so like, hold on, I'm gonna switch this to Diva or something. So let's say that I'm trying to pocket this McCree right here. Fan the hammer. And he's, or... you know, just doing damage, just anything, just play McCree, I guess. And if an, a defensive ability like Sigma suck or defense matrix comes offline you want to switch to healing just in case because your mccree's not going to get any like value out of being attack boosted if uh oh that was a good one if um there is an ability like that going on also if you're if he's playing someone like reaper and he's wraith forming just heal him because he can't deal damage when he's in wraith form just heal him during that so like just remember to switch to healing for those split seconds just because it increases their health by just that much. And also when you're pocketing someone, make sure they're at full health before you attack boost them. I've died so many times because I've been pocketed, but I'm at half health and my Mercy won't heal me. Not you, Mercy, yes. I, I, there's a lot of others. Also, when you're Valkyrie, a lot of Mercies, what, what they'll do is they'll fly into the air because they'll assume everything's okay and they'll be harder to hit. Their hitbox is being fucked with because of their wings. And they can just fly it because they can. But if the enemy is running like an Ash or a McCree or something like that, you want to just hold your crouch button and stay close to the ground because you're still getting the same amount of value. You just won't get like high noon or random headshot, that sort of thing. So yeah, like like that. Just, just stay just stay extremely low. Uh, if they're running double projectile or no hit scan, it's obviously a lot better. For rip tire. Fly as high as you can. You might not die. Kyra's <laughs> bullshit. Just fly. Yeah, trust me. I have well, I've wall jumped into a Mercy many times. Oh yeah. The reason why Mercy is extremely complex is like Lucio, she has a lot of hero specific settings. Um, that's May. All right. Mercy is a lot. So she has toggle beam connection, meaning you have to like press it multiple oh, times that's... if you want to switch between on and off. Guardian Angel prefers beam target. Mean you can fly to someone you're not healing if you're healing someone else. Toggle oh Guardian Angel, you can just press it to stop at mid thing. And she has her own sensitivity bar. Anna, Anna her Guardian does Angel too. and her beam sensitivity. Bro, Anna's Play. is crazy. Mess with this stuff. Before you consider playing Mercy, just go into the practice range, mess with this stuff. Those are my specific settings, but then again, I don't trust myself with Mercy. I will fuck it up every time. Oh! I need to change that. Max, you have saved me. I had no idea there were specific hero settings in this game, if I'm being honest. Uh, I had no yeah, idea. Always check your specific settings whenever you're considering 
Yeah. And, like maining What's everything. Uh, else. So yeah, always look for that with Mercy. Mercy is really complex. The better you get at her, the better you'll just be able to engender. Why are all my Discord friends coming here? Oh yeah, Yo. that reminds me. Hold on, everyone, everyone, show. So, um, th this video is being advertised by our Discord server, Cosmos EC. Um, the link to that Discord server is going to be in the description of the YouTube video version of the stream. I recommend you join it. You can talk to me anytime. Uh, we, we're a lot of like Overwatch players, Apex players, Rocket League, even other stuff. If you're not um, Siege. into any of those games, yes, yeah, Siege, Siege Two, Siege Two. I I don't play Siege anymore. That's why. And I, I think it. they're trying to um, put. A, aren't they trying to put Warzone on the server? Yes, we, we're, we're we're doing a lot of games. Blake is really cool. He's trying his best. But yeah, the, the server's really cool. Recommend you join it. Uh, you get you also get notified whenever I post a video or start streaming. So you get to check out the other streams like this if I do a tank guide, which I'm going to do at some point. I'm going to do a tank guide. Not a DPS guide, because I hate DPS, and there's like <laughs> 20 of them. Yeah, um, and I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy. So if you want any DPS tips, I'm just going to be throwing them around in these videos. <laughs> 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 All right, Moira. Okay, this is gonna hurt my self-esteem because I love Moira, but she is definitely like both the lowest skilled healer and the second best healer in the game. Uh, with the upcoming Moira changes where you get an invincibility effect at the end of your fade, um, obviously just use this like you, you would with fade regularly, like diva bombs, grabs, shatters, that sort of thing. Um, it's a very very good with uh, prediction. <laughs> you gotta, but you I have made Moira like all my life. Like, like uh, ever since she came well, out, I already uh, knew that like Moira oh, was true. going to be my favorite. Like, I have golden guns for Moira. That is how sad my Moira maining is. Like, thank you. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. I was like, can you not for a second? <laughs> it's horrible. Um. Uh, a tip that a lot of people don't actually know is Moira does 60 healing per second, but when someone receives a bit of your healing, they get healing over time for a few seconds. Like, look at this health bar. He's getting shot at, he's still getting healed, even though I wasn't healing him. So, if you have, like, a Winston or a Genji or a Tracer that's about to dive, just give, just give them a little tinkle, you know? Uh, they'll heal over time while they're in the dive for a few seconds. Just always do that, every time. And also, if you're not in the middle of a team fight and a DPS needs healing, just tap him. It's it's less, it hurts your health bar a lot less when it comes to your resource, but yeah. Really only like, hold it into them whenever they are like, in constant need of healing or they're a tank. Well, I'm actually going to waste this. Don't hurt those two bots right there, Ethan. Oh, sorry. Uh, when they respawn. I know. The next tip, and a lot of people don't know this. If you want to recharge your health bar, a lot of people know that you can just hold left trigger, and you deal damage and you get it back, but that's not actually the fastest way. Hold on, I'm just gonna piss on this enemy diva. The, the best way to do it is click it, like just spam click it. Like, make sure Audi, make sure Moira is like a uh, semi auto. If you spam it, look how fast my health bar is recharging. Like, I only did half of his health, which is a lot less damage, but I completely recharged it in like a fraction of the time. Always do that. I mean, not always. If you need to deal damage, obviously just do that. But, like, if you ever need to, like, quickly recharge your healing, like, you fucked up and you healed Ryan a little too much, just, you know, give him the little bit. It'll hurt your audio cues a lot, but yeah. Um, second thing. I will never let you play Moira in my game again if you throw damage balls. <laughs> it is not because you're a DPS Moira, because by the laws of numbers, it is actually worse. So I actually know the numbers of Moira because I've played her forever. But a damage ball does 50 damage per second to any target within five, four meter range, four meter range. No, five. Uh, it's being reduced to four Jeez. in the next patch. And it has a capacity of 200, meaning if like an enemy were to stand right in this in this small room, and constantly being damaged by this orb, the, both the orb and the person would disappear from existence at the same time. At, after five sec, after four seconds, the healing ball, however, does 60 healing per second, which is oh, a faster shoot. rate, and it has a capacity of 300, meaning you will get more ultimate charge from healing ball every time.
can, and but that's only if you're like, you know, people need healing in the first place. The only time I'll ever accept you throwing a damage ball is throwing it at the enemy spawn at the beginning of the game for free ult charge. Or if you're in a duel without any of your team. Also, if you're in a Moira 1v1, throw a damage ball, not not damage ball, healing ball every time. And yeah. Because you can choose to stay near your healing ball. The enemy can choose to go away from your damage ball. So you will always get more uh, value out of a healing ball in a duel than a damage ball. It, it's just facts. And if, like, a Zenyatta you're diving accidentally headshots you, it's a lot less punishing to your health because of your lifesteal and healing ball combined makes you... Well, you get a lot of healing. I know it's faster than Percy healing you. Also, j just so you know, you do get... Hold on, I need to go get hurt. In regards of uh, melee, please hurt me. You do get life steal. Wait, oh, they changed that. You do not get life steal from uh, meleeing targets. It used, it, it didn't used to be that way, but I can see why they changed that. But yeah, you, meleeing is still a good idea though, because like Winston, where, you, where your only source of damage is just a constant stream of damage. If you can easily see their health bar go below the 30 mark and then give them a quick finish, because some, because some DPS will like wait to use their abilities until they're like below 30 health, because they'll get them more, they'll get more time to kill you. But it's just good to surprise them with the quick finish. And for coalescence, just work in your tracking. Play like Zarya or some shit. It's just, a, it's just a lot easier to work with. Um, always be repositioning yourself because you want to get the most value because it penetrates multiple enemies at once. Always use it against Gravs. Keep in mind, do not, do not ever use Coalescence in Grav. Unless you are like a Lucio or a Brick or Zen, never use your support ultimate in Grav. Because oh, chances are you're only going to help like half the people in there. But you can just fade out of grab. Like, it's bullshit. Like, I, I've done it before. It's complete bullshit. You can just fade out of grab and then ult. Easy as that. Whoa. Okay. There, there's um, an echo setting that you can uh, confirm your duplicate. Yeah, confirming duplicates. You can also confirm your nanos. I recommend you do that until you're... Oh. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's most that's most of the Moira tips. She's extremely simple. Like low low skill hero, but gets a lot of capability out of her. You can also like bully uh, DPS like Farah and Echo by just fading out of like a sticky bomb or an ultimate. Fate fade is just complete bullshit. One of the most overpowered healer abilities in the game. Although I said that about need too. Always use healing balls and make sure you're always above half healing. Because you never know, you might get an unlucky string of events to where you use more healing than you get it back. That's that. Zen Yetus Deletus. I quote Andrew JRT, the YouTuber, that Zenyatta is both the best and the worst hero in Overwatch. He has the most damage capability out of any hero in the game. And he has one of one of the lowest healing in the game. Lucio <laughs> is, uh, well, Lucio, but he does group healing, so we don't give him any shit for it. Harmony Orb, 40 healing per second. Uh, Discord Orb, and the enemy, the enemy with Discord Orb on takes 25% more damage. And they will also have, and whenever they get hit, you will get a different sound effect when you hit a Discord target. Um, always be animation canceling. Like, if you just hold down your right trigger fire, you don't really have to worry about any... Where'd the... Okay, who the fuck, like, killed the... What are you talking about? Done. Um... Always, always be, uh... Just not dislocating your shoulder. Why did that come to my mind? Um... Whoa. Always, always be animation canceling your orbs. Call out your orbs and their health, because as you can see, I have mercy uh, on my with my Discord orb, not my Discord orb, my Harmony orb. I, I have it right here. I can see your health bar, and I can see the training bot's health bar. So you can, so you can like call out someone's health and where they are through walls. Like just always, being, it's it's free knowledge. It's like infosight, except not as accurate. Um, 
I wouldn't really focus on Zen's animation to tell if you're doing something. Focus on the health bars, because th those will just change automatically. Always be healing someone. Even if they're at full health, just always have your Harmony Orb on someone. They won't run from you, it's kind of hard for them to do that. Um, Good for Genjis. <laughs> just always be healing. It, it's better, it's just better for your ultimate. And aim for the head. Like, take take Thanos' advice into consideration. Just aim for the fucking head once in a while. Um, it, you can actually surprise a lot of enemies. Um, hold on, nobody delete this McCree. Oh. If a Tracer dives you, and if you start maining Zen, you will see this. I'm going to do this once slow and once fast to show you how fast you can delete a Tracer. Discord, headshot, melee. That was slow. Don't don't touch it. I hey, I'm Go watching. Away. Now now this is in fast motion. <laughs> it kind of just looked like I just headshot her. You didn't see my melee animation or my Discord animation. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking get you, man. Uh, I'm not. You're gonna, make me, you're gonna give people the wrong idea. I'm not Genji man. He's not a Genji man. He's a joke man. Um, whenever you're transing, keep in mind that you still exist. I know that sounds stupid, but a lot of Zens just think, "Oh, I'm just healing." Because, fun fact, Zen does 300 healing per second whenever you're in trans. And do you want to know um, how much healing 300 healing is? It's as much as a spawndor. Oh! Like, by exact. Like, it is exactly the amount as much as a spawndor. Like, they just copy pasted those numbers when they were making Zen. But yeah, like uh, Game Matic said, be body blocking. Like, if there's a Bastion ulting right here, just body block his ass. He'll hurt himself more than over at you because you're invincible. Body block the charge if you if it's, like, safe. Uh, don't get too far from your team, though. You, you still need to keep him healed because they will let down their guard if they see a trans. It, it's bad. So, yeah, always keep Discord. Always keep at least one target. It's free to just do easily. And, hold on. Um, yeah, well, match you do more damage Reaper. than you think. Just work on your aim. Reaper and Junkrat are some of the best Discord combos. Oh yeah, like watch this shit. Just shoot her once. Okay. Yeah, she she's a 250 health target, right? So let's, yes. Let's do Mace McCree. 250. Look, so, yeah. almost dead. Melee. Him. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> d Discord combos with close range heroes, just like anything that has to do with enemies taking more damage or your team dealing more. Always pair it with uh, close range heroes like Junkrat, Reaper, Roadhog. Like, it, 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 people just don't expect it. It's weird. Like, like watch this. Discord that was three shot. That was body shot. And he was body shotting. Two shot. You just two shot like the, the person with the most health in the game. Not really gonna count Diva with their armor. Just simple. Zenyatta, you always want to play as far back as you can because Zenyatta does not have fall off damage. Uh, I don't believe he does actually. Hold on, let me check. It's because Zenyatta is 55 per shot. Yeah, that's 55. Yeah, Zenyatta doesn't have fall off damage. You can easily like surprise an enemy from far away with like a quick burst that they won't expect. There. Done. Enemy deleted. It happens more often than you think. Use your automatic fire more than you use your uh, volley. So although they do the same amount of damage, you want to have your actions per minute uh, really, really high. So I, I, I prefer right trigger over left trigger any day of the week. It's just better that way. But if you really need to like surprise an enemy from around a corner, so or save, tanks, yeah, done. You can win one v ones a lot more often than you think. Just keep your strafing up, keep your aim swell. You can really like make some sick plays with them, and also make sure that your healers are, you know, synced up. Anybody that can't really survive on their own, so like Ana, Baptiste, or uh, Mercy, always make sure you have comms with your other healer or just the rest of your team in general. Because if you can get saved, you should be getting saved. And uh, a Zenyatta with comms is very important for DPS. That I know that. Yes, because you always want to be calling out who your Discord orb is on. You don't need to call out who your Harmony orb is on, because people can just ask for it if they don't already have it, and that's that. But yeah, call out your Discord. Don't say their name. Say the person they are playing. I see it far too often. I don't care to check how much, what someone's fucking name is. I'm not going to call out, I Discorded Mercy, yes. I'm just going to say, I Discorded Mercy. That's Done. a horrible example.
You should have used me. <laughs> yes, because I. <laughs> oh yeah, when it comes to Discord priority, <laughs> you want to Discord. I'm just gonna list down the people you'll commonly find on an enemy team from greatest Discord priority to least: main tank, healers, off tank, DPS. Like that, tanks can take a lot more damage, so they will. A lot of their health won't matter when they're discorded. So that that's why tanks get such a high priority. But your he but the healers also just focus healers. You 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 can win a team fight without a DPS. It's possible. You can win a team fight without tanks. It's possible. And yes, you can win team fights without healers. But it's really rare. Like just delete healers first. They're they're really important because healers can do damage and healers can body block. Tanks can deal damage and body block, but healers are really the only per or the only like heroes in their role that can do their role. Unless you're soldier, unless you're healer 76, and don't he soldier isn't a healer. Like you you can be a GM with him. Soldier isn't a healer. Don't 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 at me about that. When it comes to numbers, definitely not. <laughs> oh yeah, unless it's absolutely necessary, and this just goes across the board, no matter who you're playing. Lucio with amp, Ana with nade, Bap with. Farting and that thing. Never use your abilities to heal yourself. You have a second healer. Only do it when it's completely necessary because your life matters a lot when you're a main healer. But yeah, just, just say, hey, I need some heals. I, uh. Like that. Max, See? Easy as that. Didn't have to name myself. Max, you want to know something really embarrassing? Yes. Well, I have like what 80 hours on Junkrat, and I play him all the time. I had no idea how to climb walls with Tyre. I just learned that today. Yep. I hate you. I I I was always screaming like, cause how how you showed me how to do it a long time ago when you were just like showing me how to play the game. You were spamming A, you weren't holding it. So I was like, oh, that's that's how you do it. <laughs> you spam A. No, uh, it's it's very powerful. <laughs> yeah, never use never use abilities on yourself. Sleep dart's fine, because, you know, sleep. Oh yeah, forgot to teach you one shot combo. Front. Shoot nade, shoot melee. Easy as that. You don't have to melee, but it does kill them faster. If, oh yeah. This is pro. This is pro tips. Don't don't hurt the training buddy. Anyway. If you see a tracer or a reaper, if you land that sleep like an absolute badass, here is what you do against them. That's it. You want to know why? You just give them the punch. A tracer, when it's slept, knows she has 150 health and almost anything can one-shot combo her. She will insta recall. Enemy Happens every time. Every time I use it on a tracer or reaper or anything like that, they'll always use their get out of jail free card ability to get out of the sleep dart. And then you have to leave them for three seconds so that they, when they get out of recall, they'll put, they'll be put in the exact same spot. Immediately anti. Don't go for the shot. Just go for the anti because then they can't recall out of it. Blinks don't cleanse it, and they're at a serious disadvantage. With against reaper, in the off chance that they believe they can take it. Why? <laughs> Just fuck off. Just give him a single shot. They'll probably use Wraith Form, but do not use Anti until he gets out because Anti completely counters Reaper's existence. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, whenever someone has a get out of jail free card ability like that, that can cleanse Anti or like get them out of trouble if any situation, just give them the, like the one tap or the melee. It's just simpler that way. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't know this either. Lucio, he has one shot combo too against 200 health targets. A lot of people don't do this when booping because it, like, it's just unheard of. The one shot combo is four headshots, boot melee. If you press them right next to each other, even if they're like flying, hold on, no, no, don't hurt McCree. I'll oh. make up what I make up. So like, I'm going to boop him in the air. He will go at the maximum velocity a boop can go. You can still get the melee off. I didn't even move forward to do that. So you can deal more damage and since uh, melee, does booping like look he moves a little bit you can just make your boops that much more effective in damage and uh like cc if you just add a melee out at the end of it <laughs> and it'll be there actually embarrassing if people buff. get booped off by a punch uh it won't really affect the reinhardt buff that much but it will negate a little bit of it because it was nerfed 25 percent instead of 50. 
Oh wait, no. So I yeah, and um, I would just recommend always, even if you're just trying to do damage, just just punch at the end of your boots. It's that it's that simple. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, land, land all the headshots. Do that. I wouldn't really focus on it because chances are you're not gonna get four headshots with a single burst. But yeah, it's just extra damage. The boop does 50 damage instead of 20 because uh, melee does 30, boop does 20, so it does 50, and it does a little more knockback. So yeah, that that's uh that's Lucio's, and uh, that is the main healer guide. As for healer duos, this is going to go both for uh, like being in sync with your healer and metas in general. Lucio Moira was the past meta because you have speed and you have easy heals. And Moira is bullshit and can damage anyone anytime. Always be like by grasping someone through deflect or through kinetic grasp like Sig. It, it just negates their ability completely and it makes them feel like shit. And you know you've won when you get the enemy team to leave the game. That That's just when you win is Moira. So yeah, Lucio Moira, really good combo. Ana Zen is also heard of. Um, because they can heal each other, like, as I said before, they don't really have that much self-healing. Zen has no self-healing, he just has 150 shields that can regen. Uh, Damn. never play Zen against Sombra. I Sombra. don't care how good you are, just don't. Just, just fucking don't. Uh, yeah, they, Ana and Zen can heal each other, Zen's hitbox is great enough for Ana to land consistent shots on it, and Zen can just heal Ana easily because she has a low health pool. And then they have a lot of utility with Discord and Nade and Sleep and all that, and they can deal a decent amount of healing. So, if you have, like, your two diamond players on Ana Zen, that, that's a good healing comp. Current meta is, um, it was Baptiste and Mercy, I think. Not Mercy, it was Brig. Bat Brig. Because you get CC, you get all the utility you want, and you get a decent amount of healing. Because the Fart Cloud is pretty much Inspire, but buffed a little bit. So even if your Brig is on like an unlucky break and doesn't have her Inspire up, Baptiste can just like rip us a new one and easy. That That's it. Uh, yeah, Bat Brig is like Overwatch level meta right now. Like, I was, I was actually, I actually watched a few games and they almost always ran Bat Brig. Uh, sometimes Lucio, Mercy, really good with Zarya. I know Zarya is not a support, but just runner with Zarya, you, it's so much easier on your Mercy, and you get to res a lot more for the rest of your team. Um, experiment with healer comps. If you find something new, you're a god. <laughs> Never combine two off heals unless, uh, like, you, you've seen two off heals as the healers of the enemy team before, but that is only if they're DPS, at least one of them can self heal. So either Doomfist, uh, Reaper, Soldier. May, Reaper, Soldier, Sombra, because she can hack health packs and she can escape almost anything, and Tracer, unless at least one of your DPS or one of those heroes, and your tanks are 400 healthers. 400 healthers are Orissa. I'm counting her because I know she has a 450, but she has less than 500, so it's fine. Sigma. Zarya. And Zarya. Both of your tanks have to be those, of, of one of those three, and one of your healers has to be one of the self-healing ones. That is the only way you can run two off healers, like Lucio Zen, Brig Lucio, Brig Zen. I don't count Mercy as a main healer. I consider her an off healer, but... You can, if you're trying to run double off heals, you can, you don't have to follow those rules I said with the 400 health tanks and the self healing DPS if one of the off healers is a Mercy, because she is one of the most healing off healers in my opinion, just by numbers and experience alone. So that is, that is most of the synergy for healers, and that is the support guide. I am like a low diamond. Uh, support player, which doesn't sound good, I know, but I really don't play comp all that much. Like, I'm sure if I got to climb it, it would be higher than my tank, because I was just fucking around on tank the other day, and I reached a career high on accident. Um, I'm sure I could be higher than that, but yeah, I, I've i just collected those tips over, like, a series of three years of playing supports. I started Overwatch playing Lucio, then I got into Mercy, and then I found Moira, and then I. You're talking about your healers, others, right? Because you, you, you had Sombra. Yes, my healers. Oh yeah, I'm I'm talking about healers. I I used to be a Sombra man, because Sombra EMP is amazing. 
But yeah, try and get used to every single healer because your team will thank you for it. Um, it's always the DPS fault. Your career will that, thank you for and it. That is that is the end Wait. of uh, my tips video. Oh, I see how it is, Max. I see how it is. Well. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've clocked in one hour of tips. This was the shortened version. It's not that I have more. I probably have a little bit more. Well, down but the I, I'm down the yeah, editing. Yeah, I'm, 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 like I'm gonna do this minutes. down to like maybe like a twenty to thirty yeah, minute video at most. Because then there's just me and. And again, Cosmos will advertise that. Please join the Discord server. We're growing so fast. We're almost at like 400 members as like the Wait, really? of this God. video right now. Yeah, we're almost at 400. Uh, we'd love to have you. You can talk to me anytime. Blake, the owner, absolutely hates me because I post long messages about cool stuff. Um, but yeah, say hi if you stop by. It's really cool. Thanks for tuning in to the stream, and I will probably see you next time when I'm making the tank video. And then I'll get Game Matic to do a DPS video because I'm absolutely horrible at it. You're gonna make me do a video? Oh. Oh hell yeah! Oh, you, you best believe I'm gonna make. I, a video. I, I, I,